Hi, my name is Ashish, and in this video, we will create an Azure function when a blob is created. So, let's say you are a photographer, you upload your photos onto the Azure storage blob, and you forget to send the, the notification to your viewers. What you do, you set up uh, Azure function, which will set up a tweet for your account whenever you upload an image to your blob storage. So, let's create an Azure function when a blob, execute an Azure function when a blob is created. Let me log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm inside the portal and I will use my existing function. So let me just, uh, this is my function and I'm going to click on plus sign in besides that function name. When you click on plus sign, you see that there is an HTTP trigger, timer trigger, Azure storage trigger, Azure service plus Q trigger and here we go. We have Azure blob storage trigger, which says a function that will be run whenever a blob is added to a specified container. Click on it. It says extension not installed. The template requires the following extensions. Click on install. Installing template dependencies. You will be able to create a function once this is done. Dependency installation happens in the background and can, and can take up to two minutes. Your app will go into offline mode until the installation is complete. Okay, let's wait and I'll come back as soon as it is done. All right, let's name it Blob Trigger 1. Azure Blob Storage Trigger Sample Works Item Name. It is the path within your storage account that the trigger will monitor. Okay, storage account is. Storing on connection is the name of the app setting containing your storage account connection string. Okay. You can do anything. Click on create. After that, after installing that extension, this these are the options that you will have to fill up. Now we have to create a blob container. So I am. So if you will click on storage, storage, storage here, and if you would see your storage here, let's see if it's present here or not. Under integration, what you have to do is, under integration, you would have to check your Azure blob storage trigger. Blob parameter name is my blob. Path, it is only uh, looking for this path. And would only send trigger for this path in that storage account. Storage account connection. It was a test function storage here. And it made a new connection with the existing storage account that you have. So you click on save here. Okay, that is good. Now we have to make a container with this name. Because it is looking for this thing. Come to my storage account that I am using for it. I click on sample path work item. Private, click on OK. It's going to create a new container inside the storage account that I'm using with that blob storage trigger in that function app. I'm back at my blob trigger. I'm going to check if there are any logs or not. Now I'm going to go to my this container blob. I'm going to upload an item so that logs are generated. Select a file. I'm going to click on upload. Uploading, uploading, uploading. I have an image here. I go back. I go back to my logs. I refresh it. Let's see what logs do I get. Come on. Let's wait for some time. That is how you set up the blob trigger execution with the function app. So I see you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and like all the videos. If you have any feedback, any queries, please mention in the comment section. Thank you. Have a good day.